What is going on guys? Welcome back to Dying Light. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus, Rahim, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antisim. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Get, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. All right. I'm up. And another cousin. This is Crane. Do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Rise's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Well, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Crane, this is Jade. Do you copy? Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. What's on your mind? 
Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. this? This is Tolga. And Fatin? We work for Mr. Dahl, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Tolga, don't, don't talk to me like that. Shut up, Fatin. Get off the radio. I'm just going to make him mad, you idiot. Stop talking or I will punch you. Punch me? I'll kill you. Idiosyncratic, great. You should see this. Something is going on at the school. Tahir's men have been hauling boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Good question. If it's answers in, we need it. Jade, where... Shit. Missions at night. <laughs> Is he going to turn? Yes, hurry up! You How many bandits are inside? I only <laughs> saw the ones off. that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. 
We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground. And we'll make less noise moving separately. This should be simple enough. Or not. Jade, they've got this door sealed off from the inside. You got any alternatives? I remember playing here as a kid. There was a basement entrance at the back of the building. No harm in trying it. dead end okay shit you'll have to come in the way i did i just hope we can find another way out if we have to head for the outbuilding on the roof okay i'll sneak around find some interesting stuff in here. Some blades. Oh god, I need that. Okay. Am I gonna get up there? Uh, oh God! Stay down. Stay. Stay. Come on, die already! Oh my God! How are you still alive? Oh, hell no. Bye bye. Okay, now I got a skill point. Hmm. Power attack, ground pound, sturdiness. Hard time. We sell. Damn. Okay. You've got to be kidding. Still damages me. I'm gonna just make the med kiss then. Okay, come on, please give me something good. A fruit pick, and a pouch. I can deal with that. I decided to skip ahead a little bit, so 
I have to get away from the boring stuff. What is this shit? Come on, these guys never die. Holy crap, there's four of them. I would think that smacking him in the head with a pipe would at least do some kind of damage to these guys. Little parts. Gauze. Jade, no luck with any antizen. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there.
these zombies can take a hit. Again. Give me a hand here, would you? Yeah, sure. God, Crane, you're such an oaf. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Holy shit. That's plastic explosives, right? All right, listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Promise me oh, you won't quick. let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Oh. Deal with these freaks. I have to have a stronger weapon or something. No wonder this weapon does so little damage. Oh god. Okay, that was a bad choice. Should have made some medkits. That was an extremely bad choice. And they want to spawn me right in front of them. Spawn every year. Make these med kits.
All right. Crane, you said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any answers in. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. Alright, I'm going to end it right here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.